Mastering the Language of Diplomacy, an English Vocabulary Guide. Hello language enthusiasts! Today, we're going to delve into a fascinating aspect of our professional vocabulary series, Government and Politics. Specifically, we'll take a closer look at diplomacy. Diplomacy, being a key aspect of international relations, has a language of its own. By understanding this vocabulary, you'll not only enhance your English skills but also your grasp on global affairs. So, let's dive right in. Before we get into the actual vocabulary, it's important to understand the concept of diplomacy. In simple terms, diplomacy refers to the practice of conducting negotiations between representatives of states or groups aiming to resolve conflicts and build relationships. It's an art of navigating through different interests, cultures, and laws, and it's essential in today's globalized world. Now, let's move on to the exciting part, the vocabulary. We'll be learning some common terms used in the field of diplomacy. 1. Ambassador. This is the highest ranking official who represents their country in a foreign nation. 2. Consulate. This is the office where a consul works, often dealing with individuals and businesses from their country residing abroad. 3. Treaty. This refers to a formally concluded agreement between nations. 4. Sanctions. These are punitive measures imposed by one country on another to force a change in policy. 5. Détente, a French term meaning a relaxation of strained relations, especially in politics. 6. Protocol. This refers to the accepted or established code of procedure or behavior in any group or organization. Understanding vocabulary is great, but it's crucial to know how to use these words correctly in sentences. Let's go through some examples. 1. The ambassador presented his credentials to the host country's president. 2. The consulate assists its citizens who live or travel abroad. 3. The two nations signed a treaty to promote trade and cooperation. 4. The United Nations imposed sanctions on the country due to its nuclear program. 5. The détente between the rival nations brought a temporary peace to the region. 6. Following the correct protocol is essential during diplomatic visits. There you have it. You've taken a big step towards understanding the language of diplomacy. It's a rich and nuanced field, and the vocabulary reflects that. Remember, these words are just a starting point. The world of diplomacy has a lot more to explore. Thank you for joining us on this linguistic journey. We hope this video has been helpful and enlightening. Keep practicing these words, and you'll soon be a pro in the language of diplomacy. Until next time, happy learning!